How many people knew <clears throat> exactly what they wanted to do with their life when they were in college? And they followed the perfect, okay, there you go, one out of 300. <laughs> so uh, we were definitely not those people. Uh, we were in school and faced that typical moment that most people do where you get to the end of college and realize you've sunk a lot of debt and you think, holy shit, what do I do now? And when we talked to our, our, account, our high school, our, teach, or our teachers, they said, go to the career center, they'll help you figure it out. So I said, great, okay, good. So we go to the career center, we get there, and then very soon it was, it was a big, oh, this is not good. Uh, you know, we took, we took the Myers-Briggs test, you know, we explored the Department of Labor's inspiring ONET database, and, you know, realized that what we really needed was something completely different. You know, we didn't think that finding your path in life should feel like going to the dentist. Um, and so we thought, what if we, you know, got an old beat up green RV, and uh, my buddy Brian, his grandparents had this old RV that didn't work anymore. We painted it green because the green paint was on sale at Home Depot. And we spent six months building our own project. We cold called people all across America who were doing interesting different things with their lives and asked them, could we sit down and talk to you and learn how you got to where you are today? And whether it was a lobsterman on the coast of Maine, small bookstore owners, the graphic designer for Burton Snowboards, um, the beer brewer in Seattle for Red Hook Ale, um, we just basically sat down and learned how they found their roads in life and learned that actually everyone, most people had no clue what they wanted to do and that's okay and that life is about, you know, kind of navigating and adapting and um, it doesn't have to be a linear perfect thing. And so we had this, we got a little bit lucky, um, a big national magazine did an article on our road trip which got the, the, uh, ex the attention of a big book publisher, Random House. We did a book about our road trip project um, 12 years ago. We always say that we're recent college grads, but our team is like, you're not recent college grads anymore. So <laughs> this is a long time ago. Um, so we, we ended up writing this book. It, it got a bunch of publicity, and we were on the, uh, it was, uh, we were on the Today Show. It became the 15th best-selling book in America on Amazon. And around that time, there was all this kind of packaging of Road Trip Nation. We had a fancy William Morris Asian down the street, and MTV wanted to do a reality show out of it, and we were like 22, so we were like, awesome, you know, whatever. But then pretty soon, they wanted to vote people off the motorhome, and they wanted the RV to explode at the end of the season, and uh, that's when we said, you know what, this is, this is just not what we want Road Trip Nation to be. So we ended up leaving and building Road Trip Nation independently for the last 12 years as a movement that has put uh, over 140,000 students on road trips in the last 12 years both on national road trips in our fleet of green RVs and on a local level through our curriculum in schools where mostly high risk first generation college going kids who've had you know, low to no visibility of different things they can do with their lives actually get the chance to build road trips in their own communities. And the outcome of this has been this massive content archive because um, not only have we mobilized these road trips, but we've been intentional with the content development. So Road Trip Nation has now amassed the world's largest media database of of people's stories, talking about the roads they've taken, how they've gotten to where they are today, whether it's a food scientist who does the jelly belly candy things, or we know that not every kid in the world is going to be able to take a road trip in a huge green motorhome, uh, but can there be a place where people go to explore and get visibility and build confidence and efficacy about what's possible for their future, regardless of what zip code you're in or what types of role models you have surrounding you by the nature of how you grew up? Um, and so Road Trip Nation is today is really kind of on this mission to build this place, you know, build this movement where people can go to find their roads. Um, and the, mo the thing that we'd like to end on is that every person's story has power uh, and that everyone's road in life has ex incredible insights that they can share. And so this platform we've developed um, at shareyourroad.com, we would be honored for all of you to share your roads and share your stories of how you found your road in life. Um, and I, I thought that was the last slide, but there's no slide. So, um, so the neat thing is that all of the kind of stories in this database we're building can be really granular. People can share, you know, whether the first family go to college, did they have a learning disability? You know, did they grow up in a military base? Um, and so by building this kind of rich, really granular experience, students can see reflections of exactly what they're interested in. So that in the future, uh, when my daughter grows up and everyone's, the next generation comes up and they go try to figure out what do they want to do with their lives? They don't have to take, they don't have to search the ONET database, you know, they don't have to go through the Myers, I mean, the Myers-Briggs test can be a good tool. I always get knocked for knocking on it. But for a kid who's, you know, 18 and have, has all the aspiration in the world, um, we're trying to create a new approach, a new aesthetic, um, something more that's more than just a career exploration widget, you know, something that is an experience and, and aspirational and helps people to really find their roads in life. So. 
Um, this is our new book. Wow, I really thought that was going to end. <laughs> um, uh, this is our new book, The Roadmap, which is a, a, a composition of, of 14 years of these insights from the road, and it's, um, it was just released uh, last month by Chronicle Books. So thank you very much. Yeah.